blocks with masses of 3 kilograms, 4 kilograms, and 5 kilograms are lined up in a row on a frictionless table. All three are pushed forward by a 20 newtons force applied to the 3 kilograms block. Part A. How much force does the 4 kilograms block exert on the 5 kilograms block? Express your answer with the appropriate units. From the givens, we understand that there is a force that is applied to the 3 kilograms block. In this picture, we can see that the 20 newtons are applied to the right. We can consider the three blocks as a whole system. Let's unify the blocks in a single block, just for the purpose of analysis. The total mass would be 3 plus 4 plus 5, that is a total of 12 kilograms. We get that there is a force of gravity of mg that's pulling this block downwards, and there is a normal force pointing upwards perpendicular to the flat frictionless surface where the block is sitting. Now let's briefly analyze the free body diagram of this system. The system has an mg going downwards, fn going upwards, and because this is in a static equilibrium, the summation of the forces in the y direction is equal to zero. In the x direction, we have 20 newtons pushing to the right, that's the force that's been applied to the system, but we don't have friction, it is on a frictionless surface, that means that there is no friction force. The only force that we have applied to this system is the 20 newtons, then that's an unbalanced force, and the summation of the forces in the x is equal to mass times acceleration. The only force that is being applied to the system in the x is the 20 newtons force. That means that 20 newtons is equal to 12 kilograms times acceleration. From this we can conclude that the acceleration is 20 over 12, that means that the system acceleration is 1.667 meters per second square. All the blocks move with the same acceleration because they are part of the same system. Now let's go back to the actual configuration of blocks. We just found out the system's acceleration. Now let's only focus on the 5 kilograms block. We know that there is an mg pulling the block downwards and there is a normal force going up. Those two forces are in static equilibrium. But there is a force applied by the 4 kilograms block that is generating an acceleration of 1.667 meters per second square. We know the acceleration of the block because we found out the system's acceleration and the three blocks have the same acceleration because they are part of the same system. From this information and thinking about this block specifically, we know that the summation of the forces in the x direction is equal to the mass of this block times the system's acceleration. So F4 that's the force applied by the 4 kilograms to the 5 kilograms is equal to 8.335 newtons. The answer is given as 8.3 newtons because of the number of significant figures. But we know that 8.335 newtons is a more precise answer. For part B, how much force does the 4 kilograms block exert on the 3 kilograms block? Express your answer with the appropriate unit. We know that the 3 kilograms block is exerting a force to the blocks that are to the right. We can consider the two other blocks as a unified system, so the total mass of the other blocks is 9 kilograms. The summation of the forces in the x direction is equal to mass times acceleration. Looking at this system, F3 is equal to 9 kilograms times the acceleration of the system, and we get that F3 is equal to 15.003 newtons that can be rounded to 15 newtons. That means that the block 3 needs to push that system with 15 newtons of force to achieve the system's acceleration. And that system has to push back on the 3 kilogram with the same amount of force because of Newton laws. That's why we can conclude that the magnitude of F3 is equal to the magnitude of F4. The force by block 4 on block 3 is 15 newtons as well. Okay guys, I hope that this one was useful. 
Remember to like, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, your geek friends, your girlfriend. And I'll see you in the next video, guys. Keep it going, guys.